that's what we do. A title beer fest show. Yeah, yeah. We got pirates. Oh, Blue pirates. We got. We had the crowd going wild. We're going to Tidal Beer Fest style, so let's go. I guess I'm holding it down right now because Thunder Dan's sleeping, but that's all right. Oh man, it's the fans. He's ready to hold it down. We have a, a solid list of beers we can go through right now. Which one should we taste? I'm feeling Left Hands Brewing, Steel Hands Brewing Coffee Lager right now out of uh, Casey, South Carolina. Let's get that popping. Wait, I'm gonna pop in its natural habitat and see what happens. Oh, yeah, there it is. Let's go. Let's go. The title beer fest going on without Sleepy Hollow behind me. I'm still gonna rep beers and represent the flavors we got going on. We got Still Hands Brewing out of South Carolina KC Coffee Brew. Let's see how it tastes. All right, I'm kicking you solid knowledge right now to help you in the beer field how to pour beer, right? Everybody just wants to pour it into the glass and get the foam and the head going. That's not the way to do it, right? So the proper way to pour any beer, turn it 45 degrees, halfway, then turn it straight up like this. And this is a tiny glass, but if there's nothing left in the pint glass, you want to swirl it around and top off the yeast that's left in the bottle or can, whatever you want to say. And you get a perfect head like that no bigger than an inch, so you can smell the aromas coming out of that beer. Never drink a beer in a bottle or a can. You definitely need to put it in a glass to get all those aromas that just entices you into this beer. Ah, beer mustache. Ooh, bubbly and fluffy. Yo, so fluffy. That's where we're in right now. Steel hands brewing. Steel hands. You catch some hand. Well, oh shit! Watch out for that. All right, take a little sip. Cheers. Say, yeah. Is that like coffee flavor? Uh, you know, a little bit of sip. A little sip. You know, like an espresso. It is a little espresso taste. You get the the roasted malts that saw it later. In there. It's a hard flavor. I love it. I love it, man. It's good. Cheers. Bring it back to 2002 with this shit. Let's go and title Beer Fest Show. What up? That's right. You can see that. Three nothing devils. Let's go. Jersey Devil. Oh, yeah. We got Bell's Brewing. Kamala Zoo. Stout right here. This is a monster at 7%. We're gonna crack this roasty toasty open and see where we go from there. Can I do it one hand? Oh, oh, oh yeah I did. Sorry about the 45 degree, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna pour right down the barrel. Get that dark oil, crispy roasty head on top. Let's get a little smell of it. Smell the malt out there, the toffee, the roasted grain, the uh, chocolate. Nice and dark, nice head. Can't see through that beer. It's looking solid right now. We gotta taste this bad boy. Where we at, Bills? Kalamazoo. Did I say that's right? Kinda close. <laughs> out of Bells Brewing, the stout. See, it's got a richer taste than most English stouts. You're getting that bold, dark coffee, toffee flavor right off the jump. You can see the color's a little bit darker than the European version of Porter's right there. It's got a nice head that's um, not as creamy, but it's got like a tannish color to it. Uh, definitely one to pick up, man. Tons of flavor to it. Try it. Come on, Zoo! Bell's Brewing. What up? Oh, he's got the hiccups. He's got the hiccups. He's got the hiccups. Take a sip. Take a sip right now. Right. On the spot. Johnny on the spot. What do you taste? Think about... Toasty. Toasty. Oh. Toasty. 
full body flavor or what is it like on the back end how you feeling on the back end oh. Is it smooth on the back of your tongue right now? It's more than mid tongue. Mid tongue. Not full yeah. tongue, not quarter tongue, mid but tongue. mid tongue. Mid -tongue. That's my sunshine right there. Look at that bad boy. It's like Arabian oil. Just making dollars off this dark beautiness right here. So fresh, so clean, so tasty, so malty, so toffee. That's how it's done. Look at the flavor. Ooh. All right, we got yeah. Bell Haven right now. 90 Wee Heaven. So Scottish Ales are interesting. They go by levels right here. 70% is moderate. 80% is so-so. A little bit stronger. 90% is the high end where we're at right now. That's where we're drinking right now. The percent on this is 7.4. Straight out of Scotland. It's got that heat to it. Thunder Dan, take a little swig. Let's see where we're at. Meet me outside. Yeah, oh. no, in the glass, bro. You always drink it out of the glass. Oh, I'll take it out of the glass. You got that bourbon oh, cast, baby. right? Sweet. It's sweet. You got that nice sweet oh, taste. Oh, it's more than sweet. It's like a. Uh, it's like, like butter bourbon almost. It's like a bourbon fucking liquor. It's amazing. I like. Uh, Cheers. And you see, you see the flavor. You see it. Nice uh, amber flavor. Let me get a little zoom into that. The head is uh, di dissipates as soon as you pour, but you're getting a solid flavor on the back end of it. It's gorgeous. Tiger style. We got Sycamore Brewing Wild Blossom Rose Cider. We're gonna crack this bad boy open. We all usually do ciders, but local brews. Oh, we fucked that up. Amateur hour over here. Let's get it though. Let's try this bad boy out. It's a nice light cider. You get that apple taste on the front end. Very sweet. But then you get that brute kind of rose taste on the middle end. The back end, it just comes off completely smooth. Uh, you could check the ingredients on this, man. Low sugar, surprisingly, for a cider. And they put all their ingredients on the label. How do you beat that? All what they put in the beer, which everybody hides, beer or cider, is hidden. This one does not. So Wild Blossom Rosé, a.k.a. Sycamore Brewing. Fantastic cider. Yo. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Catch a brewski by his toe. If he pops, let him know. Eeny, meeny, miny, so we're going to go next. Samuel Smith Old Brewery. Taddy Porter. I love my English porters. Let's go. Yeah, we can that English porter up. Yeah. Oh, you man. know what I mean? English porter is a good porter. Yeah, uh, yeah. Here we go. Taddy Porter. Taddy. Like a daddy. Taddy to the potty. We got Taddy Porter right here. Uh, Samuel Smith, Daddy, Daddy. an English porter. Yo, facts on English porter right here, right? So the Give porters the facts, baby. that used to fucking work on a port would demand a strong dark beer in England, and this is what they got, a nice I dark made beer. I a strong dark beer right now. Yeah, and that's and what we what? Do. I get it. I get a strong dark beer, and I demand it. Oh, wow, whoa, that's strong. Last beer, beer fest right now. You look at me when I talk to you. You look at me. It's like Macho Man, Randy Savage, but Slap. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll see you. Oh, yeah. I'll see you. Summer Slam. Oh, yeah. That's okay. I'm in loaded. This is what we're going to do right now. Let's taste it. Let's taste it. Just taste it. Let me say, ah, uh, it's dark. It tastes like beer. I love it. It's 
stamp of approval right there from Thunder Dan. Nice, rosy, dark. Nice, rosy, dark. It tastes like beer. I love it. You can smell the malt coming off it. Definitely the toffee taste. I can smell the beer come off it. <laughs> As it tastes like. So let's do it. Yeah. Wow. That's how we're doing right now. We love it, baby. Come on. Cheers. The game is real fresh and real tasty. So the game is real. Yo, enjoy. Cheers.